Hi, I'm Ann Ishii. We're in Camden, New Jersey at Corinne's Place, winner of the 2022 America's Classics Award from the James Beard Foundation. Let's go inside, see what's cooking. I call myself a gourmet soul food cook because not only do I do soul food, I can do Italian food. I can do some Chinese food. Yeah. I can do a Jamaican food. I do. I can do all that too. So I mean, you tell me which one. I'll customize a menu for you. I love and it. So you got to. I had to excel. Yeah. You got to. You know, when they go low, I had to go high. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about when you were notified about the James Beard Award. I'm looking at the phone. They say, congratulations on your James Beard Award. And I'm looking to say, well, who's James Beard? I said, to be very honest with you, I really, I didn't want to sound ignorant. I really don't know uh, what that award is, but they said, you don't know what that is? I said, no. They was excited to tell me. That's the Oscar of food. I said, really? Here I am, Camden, one of the poorest cities in the United States, just a moderate place and black woman, unassuming, and somebody thought about me. And, I, and they tell me that some of the five-star restaurants fight for this award. I said, God is good. Are you from the region? Are you from Camden? Born and raised. They oftentimes, when customers come in, they ask me, what part of South are you from? And I say, South Camden. They said, what about your mother? South Camden, you know. So as I was born right down the street at Cooper Hospital. Wow. I went to grammar school here and went to college here. So this is it. I graduated from Rutgers and I was a juvenile intake worker. One of my passions is children. Juvenile and senior citizen didn't get anything from me. That's my weakness. I call it my ministry too. What's it like working with family? So my daughter, she works here. My niece, she works here. My grandchildren, well, they work here. So with the small family I have, see, I didn't mind working because I'm still around my family. This is my family, you know, and we are close family. And then if you work here, you wind up being my family too. You might as well say she's my granddaughter. So once you get here, you are my grandma. The people that come here always come here. Like you know the name, you get to know the customers. So like they become family as well. So it's like you already know what they want. You already know what they're looking for. So it's like a big family. Let's talk about food. Okay, okay. Yeah, so who taught you how to cook? My mom. She was an excellent cook. And she loved to cook. My mother would start on Saturday. Every Sunday we would have a pork, a beef, and about three kinds of meats every Sunday. Wow. And she did fresh collard greens and fresh, everything was fresh. I don't know anything about frozen stuff. And she, that's the, how I, I was raised up. So how would you describe the food that you serve here at Corinne's Place? Well, it's comfort food and it's healing food. How does food heal? Well, see, in cooking, I put love in it. And I put love and I put prayer in it. Everyone here has a passion for what they do. So it, it, and it translates through the food, you know? So it's definitely healing. What's your favorite thing to eat on your menu? You know, give me some good fried chicken, some good Cajun turkey wings, a spice right, some collard greens, but I like my collard greens mixed with cabbage. Most of everything good, but mostly I like the pig feet. I like I like pig feet and uh, you know collard greens and potato salad stuff like that. Yeah. I eat you know, a little bit of everything. I like the big chicken and the fried fish and the fried chicken. Yeah, that's my favorite. I like everything because I like the food because I don't like to cook anymore and it's delicious. The food is delicious. Sweet potatoes, that's my favorite. Morning, lunch, dinner, and sweet potato. And when you want a good place, a good food, laid back, nice environment, it's here. I think oxtail might be one of my favorite things on earth, so I'm just so excited to try the oxtail at Corinne's. Oh my god, that gravy is out of control. You put it over the rice. Yeah. Get us our famous gravy. Mm. Why is the gravy so delicious? What's, the, what's making it so rich? Uh, it's made with love. <laughs> I feel a little silly using a fork. I feel like if I were alone, I would definitely just pick up the yeah. bone, right? And just yeah. eat it with your hands. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I might go ahead and do that. Okay. <laughs> it's tender enough. Mm. Oh my god. Look at that. It just fell off the bone. Mm. 
I float back there from time to time to make sure everything is uh, stick to the script, everything that my script, you know, like, you know, sometimes they try to deviate. No, no, you can't do it like that. No, 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 no. It is my great pleasure to congratulate you. I cannot think of a restaurant suited for this award than Camden's own Corinne's Place. I have so many Cherry Hill residents that do come to Corinne's, so they're really excited about this. She is amazing, and to be a partner here in Camden City as well as Camden County, we're all in this together to support Corinne's Place. And having a James Beard Award winner, you know, just brings more attention to the state, more reasons for people to come, dine in great, great restaurants, and come to Camden. It's a great opportunity that you know help in the redevelopment of a great city that is well deserved Thanks. we have two food trucks right now being retrofitted so over the next two weeks we're going to unroll those we've also purchased a 10,000 square feet building we want to be able to keep that revenue in the city of Camden so you know we're going to create a cratering facility which where people requires to cater we can cater in our own facility so many great people in this room for a great person and a great cook. <laughs> How did you come to serve the community in such a profound way beyond just a plate of food? To pull all this together, where do you get that energy? What's inspired you? It's just you? faith, that's all. You know, uh, there's a scripture in the Bible, your gift will make room for you. And this was my gift. Even with the James Beard Award, when my people found out about it, they said, oh my God, we're going. I didn't ask them. We're going. We had over 40 people, not on a bus, <laughs> flying to Chicago. After we had the James Beard ceremony, then they had a, a reception at the Union Station. They were had the DJ, and they was mingling around and all that stuff. So I'm a party girl. I mean, I love the party. So one of the songs near the end was Follow Me. So I started the party line. Here I am in the Union Station with all these people. I had all of them following me. I told Ms. Corinne, we got to get everyone back to the hotel and she's not being responsible. Yeah, the only thing I was responsible for is getting this, this Soul Train line and, and going around this thing. We had a ball. Trevor says, you don't know how to act nowhere. I said, hey, Trevor, they had a ball. They, the girl said, this is the best time we had all night long. We need you to start planning parties. Oh, that's what I do. I, the themes and all that? Yeah. I had a, a Wakanda party. <laughs> you ever see the movie? Of course. I had the, the hat just like the lady. OK. I had the outfit like the lady. Yeah. I had the, uh, the panther cake, and I had the ice carving with the panther. Oh, I know how to do that. Is Corinne's the Wakanda of Camden, maybe? I, I would say <laughs> that. I would say that. <laughs>